Taylor and Sadelle from Inky Quill. And I've got a little haul video for you. Whoa, those rainbow lorikeets are loud. I've got a little haul video for you today. Um, and I am back from my retreat to Camp Mojo and I did buy um, lots of things. Excuse my hands, I've been art journaling and painting. And as a result, I have blue stained hands. I've washed them about five times and I'm going out tonight. So I'm going to be whooping it up blue hand style. So I got a few things. I'll show you the free goodies that we got first. So um, it was really sweet. Every day we woke up and there was a free lot of goodies on our desk. So one of them was an October afternoon little goodie kit. So there's the travel roller stamp which I already have so I'm going to put this away for a giveaway later on maybe for a 5,000 giveaway because holy moly guacamole 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 <laughs> holy moly guacamole I am 80 people away from five freaking thousand I only had 3,000 in June like ah! so um, I'll probably do another giveaway so I'll keep that for then this is just freaking perfect it's from daily flash and it's called flash blurbs and it's all teacher stuff so there were challenges each day so that you could you could use the goodies that you got and could win a prize or whatever but um, I say I'm saving these up for some school layouts so there's the flash blurbs there's the memory cards which are little um, three by four and I think three by three cards there's these that are so pretty. They're puffy stickers. They're called pillow puffs and they're just gorgeous. Then this collection's a little bit older, I think. Um, there's the six by eight paper pack, which I think is a really good idea because you can, you've got cut apart, so you've got full sheets. So I think I'm going to use some of these in my planner. Yes, you heard right. Adele's starting a planner. Um, so I'm gonna save those for there some alphas I already have those two I might put those in the giveaway but I really like those ones maybe I'll just put those ones in the giveaway sorry guys and then some label stickers as well so that was for free then oh, where can I put stuff then another morning we woke up to some Prima pencils and luckily it was the pack that I didn't have so this is the it's like spring and fall and they're watercolor pencils and they're really really beautiful colors there's some great I don't know why it's that color because it's not it's like a peachy skin tone so but yeah they're really good I've been using them in my art journal except for the olive green um and another day we woke up to some Kelly Perky second city goodies so we got the alphas the ephemera pack and some flair but I already have all of these because I got them for my honeymoon album so these will go in a giveaway later on as well and then the day before I got there was um, fancy that my mind's eye collection and the beautiful girls who were sitting around me gave them to me which was really nice because they saw I was doing all my wedding album stuff so there's the the journal cards which are divine these are my favorite that best day ever holy moly i need more of them i just need a whole pack of those um and this as well and i have i actually did a, i got two packs of these because two girls gave them to me and i did a layout using the packaging as a, a layering so um when i do my layout share i'll be sure to show that to you and then also one of my friends won this and it wasn't her style so she gave it to me which was really nice thanks Lisa um, this is my mind's eye 4x4 mini Instagram album and I hadn't seen this before but it's just got little 4x4 pockets so that's really cute that would be good to make as a gift for someone as well ah packaging nope um, so they were all for free and then here are some things that I bought so I'll start with the kind of scrapbooky things so I got some daily flash snap caps um, they're from milk money um, it seems to be another teachery themed one so I'm going to put these with the other ones that I got so I don't usually I don't usually go for October afternoon because I feel like you don't get a lot for the price but um 
They're beautiful. They're beautiful quality, and they're double sided. I'm not sure why they're double sided, but they are. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd pick this up. I got these flare buttons from Prima, and it comes with a stamp as well, which I thought was good for my wedding album. I got some of the I Am Simple Stories brads, so they're not. They don't have a thingy through them. They're just um, adhesive. I'm sure you've all seen those before. They had a heap of Mamby stuff. So by the way, all these things from the shop are from um, a store called Scrapbooking from Scratch and I'll put their Facebook link down below. They're working on their online shop at the moment. So check out their Facebook page. Peter is incredible. She's really, really helpful and um, Bev was there helping out and finding things that suit my style. So that was really handy. I loved meeting those two girls. This is, I've never had any of the Me and My Big Ideas um, pocket cards before so this does it have a name I don't know if it has like a collection name sorry guys but it's a pretty one and it's kind of like scripty and kind of got a bit hipstery I thought um, that one was really nice so I got those and you seem to get a lot 72 so for six dollars that's I think that's a pretty good deal I got some Mamby chips and I use, I've already used some of these in my wedding album while I was there and they're gold and silver and glittery and beautiful little chipboard stickers. You do, I was putting extra adhesive on them as well. Um, these are some more Mamby chips. They don't seem to like put like a collection Thing or anything I don't know I don't know what these are from sorry guys but these are more um, they'd be great if you had like a teenager because there's a lot of lol and hashtags and things so and you get three pages of I love that, three pages of chipboard and then one page of stickers then I got two of these because I like them so much they're the clear stickers so they're white and I've used a heap of them already, as you can see. Um, but they just, they go over photos so well. Beautiful script font. And look at that page, I've used a heap. Um, so I thought I might as well get two now while I can get them because I haven't seen them in any other stores, like physical stores before. I got these pocket page foil stickers and I've seen these, but I didn't get them last time and I kind of hated myself when I bought my um, Happy Planner. I did kind of hate myself that I didn't get them. Mmm, gold. So I got those. And these ones are like quotes, which are really nice. They'd be good. I'm really trying to get into my planner in that I've done one week <laughs> and missed last week. But I'm going to catch up today. Today's the day for catching up. So I thought they were sweet. Then I got some stamps. I got... These older ones from Technique Tuesday, and I, just, I really love um, Ali Edwards's font. Pretty much love anything that she does. Pretty sure it's her font. It looks like her. Anyway, I love the font. It's gorgeous. I also got this um, Finna Bear, Finna Bear? Uh, script font, little stamp, and it was only three fifty. And I've been using that a lot for my art journal. These are so freaking cute. They're from Darkroom Door and they're little paint tubes. I couldn't not get them. It's a rubber stamp. And this old Dear Lizzie one that I wanted ages ago because I wanted that girl and I could never find it. And I finally freaking found it and I was so happy. So this is from, is this? It's not Fifth and Frolic, I don't think. It's one of the very old first Dear Lizzie collections, but I've used her, I've used that, I've used that, I've used that, I've used that, I've used mostly all of it already. So, really excited. Um, oh, and one more. This little one from Donna Downey Studios, and it just says, to create is to breathe, live a life inspired. I just love the typewriter font and the cursive, and just thought it was a nice little quote. So that's for stamps. Then I got some alphas. I got um, a pink and grapefruit pink and blue corn navy. Didn't know corn was blue jelly bean soup. Is corn blue? Can you get blue corn, Aaron? 
Blue corn? Blue corn? So. It's called blue corn navy. Maybe it's an American thing. American watches. I was going to call you readers then. <laughs> Why is it called blue corn? It's a bit strange. But anyway, they're really nice. Um, I got these gold, like puffy ones. And another one of these. I've got one of these already, I think. They're black and they're called Delight. So then I got a couple of paper pads. I got this. Oh, I've wanted it for so long. It's the Crate Paper Oh Darling. And I saw it online, but it was sold out somewhere else. And it's so pretty and girly and just me all over like this. Hmm. It's just all my colors. Gorgeous. So I got two of them. Um, and as you can see, I've made a giant dint in this, in this one. There's not, I'm probably halfway through it. Um, so good effort Adele, good effort. I used a lot of them for my wedding album. So love this. And I also, be quiet car. I've got the window open because, okay, slight tangent. It's freaking winter guys, right? And it's 28 degrees today, 28 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. But I worked it out and that's 82 Fahrenheit. So it's freaking hot. It's still winter. What are you doing weather? I'm not complaining, but what are you doing? And then tomorrow we're meant to be back down, I think to 18 or 19 and rain for a week. Woohoo! So we're enjoying the sunshine while we can. Um, this one is from Pebbles and it's called We Go Together. And, oh, hello. Um, I thought it had some cute little designs and I love the cut aparts. Mm. Oh, they're little tags. Oh, really sweet. And then I got the flea market giant paper pad from Crate Paper um, because I did, did I already have these? I don't think I had it. I think I had some of the papers from it, but it's beautiful and they won't be around for much longer so and I did use quite a bit of it too not quite a bit like four pages but still um, so I got that then see I told you I went big I got some scrapbook papers um, and some a lot of them are from older collections that I'm not sure if you'd be able to find anymore you might be able to find somewhere um, but I'll go through these quickly so Dear Lizzie, polka dot party cut apart and I got it for this side and I'm going to use it in my um, my planner. I got Studio Calico Brighton Pier Swan Boats. I've had this one before. I want to make a divider out of that. Um, same collection up and away and I want to make a divider out of this, out of that part right there for my planner. Not a giant fan of the other side. It's a bit too black like yeah and I don't like the font is that bad uh, I like this font this font is pretty font um, so I got it for this side I got simple stories DIY boutique and it's called boutique newspaper slash yellow that's a good name um, definitely didn't get it for that side guys this one this was really sweet I hadn't seen it before so it's pebbles garden party and it's called peony or peony, 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 one of them. Um, and I thought I could cut apart these and use them in my planner as well. I just signed up for a um, a planner class from the Planner Society. Um, I may have just signed up for their kits. Um, but I just did their class and it's totally inspired me to do some creative plannering see how long it lasts so these are called azalea and I got three of them because this is my I think this is my favorite floral pattern I've ever seen in my life in a scrapbook paper apart from crepe paper craft market stitch you know the navy and white one but this is my second favorite of all time and I've never seen it before so got some of those now we're on to crepe paper so this is oh darling cutie Oh darling, my girl. Love this. Oh darling, dress ups. Mm. Dainty darling. I got it for this side. 
um, Sweetheart. And then this is Notes and Things now. So this is Memo, and I got two of them. I've had this one before and I used it very quickly. This is Style Board, and this is Daydream. And I love the other side too. This is um, Style Board, and it's called So Lovely. And that's one of my favourite crepe paper papers of all time as well. As is this one. It's called Vintage Charm, and it's got cute little birdies on it. So I got three of them. Because I'm going to use that as well. That's why I got three of them. Because why did they do that? Why do they pick like the really pretty patterns and put two of them together? Don't do that, guys. Don't do it. Um, this is from the Boys Rule and it's called Mixtape. Not sure if I'm going to make a divider out of that or cut them up um, individually. And then I got some Oh Darling Vellum red polka dot and Jen Hadfield gold polka dot with cream background. I got the hiccups. Um, we're not done yet. Okay, sorry this haul is so long, but I got a lot of things that I wanted to show you. Um, then something exciting happened. I bought my first art journal. This is the Dilusions Creative Journal. Um, and as you can see, I've been working in it and some things are still a bit wet. So it's got this elastic on it and whoop. Oh, that's a back. Actually, you can look at that one because that's a page I haven't done yet. So what I've been doing as I've been using stencils, I've been just smooshing them onto other pages so I can use them later. So, um, yes, I have been working in this and I am about to film a flick through after this. Um, I'll tell you about that at the end. But anyway, I got this creative journal and I'm loving it. There's a blue page. Um, so far I've done one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double pages. Yay! Um, so, yeah, really been enjoying this, but I'll do a video on this later on. So I got that. That was about, I think it was only about $25, which I thought was really good. Um, I've been happy with it so far. Um, the pages do bleed a little bit, um, but I'm sticking some of them together to give it a bit more sturdiness as well. So I got the Dilutions Creative Journal. I also got some stencils because I thought what the hell Adele, just get into the whole stencil thing. I got this Donna Downey, um, it's called Signature Stencils and I thought this was really um, flexible so you could use modeling paste in this, you could spray through it, you could make, you could trace all of these and then color them in with um, markers. So I thought that was a great one to have up my sleeve. I also got this one. Wow, world of world words or whatever. Um, and it's just you can't really see it, but it just says, "I really love seeing the diamonds twinkle, illuminate within your gorgeous eyes, and I can hear the excited passion in your voice. I find great happiness in the radiance of your smile because you, your joy is my joy." So a lot of people told me that I should have a script font in my stash of stencils, so I got that one. Then, how could I not get this one? Oh, you can't see it. Hang on, how can I do this? Hang on, I'll pause you for a second. Okay, so I just put it on the back of that yellow paper. So this one's also from Words or whatever. And how could I not get it? They're freaking inky quills, like, ah! So, um, the thing that I want to try out is spraying this, so spraying through one colour and having a flat colour and then going over the top of it with modelling paste and another colour. So this will be exciting, but yeah, I couldn't not have the inky quills. Then I got these two little ones from the Crafters Workshop and um, they're great for just little little patterns on your page so I've used this one quite a lot um, this one one of the bits broke I don't know where it is but um, I think that was my cleaning of it um, but yeah so I got those two little ones and this wow 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 it's Prima and it's called Free Spirit and I've already used it in a page and I put gold through it and it looks gorgeous. So it's like a... 
Okay, so the camera cut me off in the middle of my flowing hands. Obviously, it didn't appreciate them, camera. Um, but it's just really whimsical and just beautiful. I absolutely love that one. And, okay, so that's all the stencils. Then, you can't really do mixed media without some media to mix. So I grabbed this Inca Gold by Viva, I think it is. And I've heard people talk about this a lot. Um, it's really fun to work with. It's like a thick... Oh, now you got it on your finger, Adele, and you're going to put it everywhere. That's what happens when you poke your finger into it. Um, I've used a bit of it already. It's like a thick paste, so I used it through a stencil and it did kind of come out like modelling paste, and I've just rubbed it um, along the sides of pages with my finger, but really like this, and it comes in... They come in all different colours as well, so I just got the gold to start off with. I got the Ranger um, Aquamarine Archival Ink because I thought I needed some permanent inks up my sleeve. And then I got some mist, so let's do the pinks. So I got Dilutions Funky Fuchsia. Just Tim Holtz Worn Lipstick. And Dilutions Cherry Pie and Tim Holtz Tattered Rose. So I got those ones. I already have the Dilutions um, Bubblegum Pink. So these kind of went really well. And I just wanted to give both brands a try. Um, and I have, and pretty much they're both kind of the same to me. I know other people might not think so, but I like them both. So I'm pretty much just going to buy both of them. And if there's a colour that I like, then I'll get it. So I got those, then I got some blues. So I got Dilutions Camp Campso Teal, Campso? Campso, what's a Campso? Um, Campso Teal, I got this one, Vibrant Turquoise, um, Poison, Polished Jade, not Poison Jade, um, London Blue. Hang on, I might put these down and just zoom you in. That might be easier. Zooming in. Hello, camera. Wow, there we go. All right, so I got those. And then I also got tumbled glass. Stay. Um, blueprint sketch, which is one of my favorites and shaded lilac and then the Heidi Swap Heidi Shine um, in teal where can you go so they're the blues that I got and that's it that's my haul of goodies so I think I did pretty well um, thanks for sitting through this giant video but stay tuned I actually have okay I have an exciting announcement about this whole mixed media thing but I'm going to make a little video I think a face-to-face -face video um, after I get ready to go out tonight so that my face doesn't look like it does right now um, so I, ha I do have some exciting mixed media news so stay tuned for that one guys and I'll talk to you later bye